Hi, I'm Rachel. Welcome to my channel, La Brica Luz, where I share tips and techniques from almost 30 years working as a costume craftsperson. In this video, I'll demonstrate how I turn the industrial dye vat in my studio into a steam chamber to heat set paints and dyes. These are the two vats I have to work with. I'll transform the larger one into a steamer. To learn how to operate these vats for dyeing, check out this video. My costume production graduate students recently participated in a textile painting workshop using colors that must be steam set after drying. These painted fabric samples must be prepped for steaming, but first I'll get the vat set up and water heating. This repurposed grill grate is an important component. I place it inside the vat to create a permeable platform a few inches above the bottom of the chamber. I fill the vat to a shallow water depth below the grate, turn on the heating element, and close the lid to trap steam in the chamber. Now I prepare the painted fabrics. I use newsprint to separate them and prevent color transfer, then roll them up into burritos. I line the bottom of a stock pot with a towel to soak up condensation and fill the pot with my fabric newsprint burritos. I place the pot on the grate inside the chamber and close the lid to contain the steam. In this case, the swatches needed to steam set for an hour, so I checked them every 15 minutes and added more water each time to keep the steam constant and avoid boiling the chamber dry. To learn where you can buy vats like these for your own studio, check out this video, and my other content on painting and dyeing topics can be found in this playlist. 